Okay, so we're going to just set up a sub page, uh, like a page as a sub page. So um, you go to new pages, oh, sorry, new page. And then obviously you call the page whatever you want. Uh, on the right hand side, you have categories, which uh, you would sometimes use depending on the situation, like if you had to add a new doctor or something like that. Um, but then you also have page attributes, you have parent, and then you can select from the list of pages. It's kind of ordered like a menu. So you have iCare services. Under iCare services, you'll have myopia control. Um, and then myopia control has 10 sub pages underneath it. And then understanding orthokeratology, you just have a lot of different sub pages. So in this particular case, we're looking for um, contact lenses, specialty contact lenses. And where is this? Specialty eyewear, sunglasses. Here we go. Uh, contact lens for the hard to fit patients. So you got contact lenses. This is one of the sub menus. That's what you would select. And then you could set the order. So every page, once it's set as a sub page, so in the structure of a website, so you have, for example, Myopia Control Center. Myopia Control Center has all these sub pages. And that would show up. That doesn't automatically show up in the menu. You have the menus you have to put in um, manually. But uh, the sub pages will show up automatically at the bottom of a page. It's these links. So you see uh, orthokeratology and myopia control. Ortho okay, these little texts over here, that's the summary. So when I add a summary into here, and it's a sub page of a different page, it would show up over there. And that helps with SEO. So you would just put in like a sentence or two, getting some keywords in there. So stuff like that. Now you can hide these sub pages too. So for example, if I would go to edit, and by the way, if you ever make a mistake, you can also go back to earlier revisions of the page. So, so that's always a good thing to know. Um, and in general section, you have different options. You can set the full screen or the theme default, um, if it should have a header or not, if it should have a sidebar or not, if it should have a title, breadcrumb is whatever. There's a breadcrumb, that's an option. You play around with it. <laughs> Hero is like the image at the top. Right. So if you don't want to have you can have also um child page list positions and you can hide those pages at the bottom. So for example, if you want a page that's very clean looking with like no other stuff going on, you can just hide everything on the bottom. I personally, it's better to keep it for SEO, but if, if you need it, like if you have, let's say a page that you're running for an ad, I mean, then it won't have sub pages anyway, but whatever, there might be situations where you need it. Um, so that's, that's that. Any questions, Damon?